You know, there's nothing I really enjoy than spending a little time before the show to kick back, relax, do a little light reading, and just really generally chill out before the show happens. What's that sound? Oh my goodness! It's an unidentified flying object. I better go check this out. Let's start the show. Your mama can't dance, and your daddy, in fact, cannot rock and roll. Hello, I'm Chris Routh, and I'm the host of this program that we like to call What? Today we have a real special treat for you because the band that we've got, well, there's something kind of special. Their name is February, and they rock just a little bit harder than you can possibly imagine. As to how you would describe their music, some would say it's dancey, some would say it's trancey, and perhaps just a little bit of atmospheric syrup. And oh, yeah, we'll find out a little bit more about that whole like flying saucer thing too. But for now, here they are, the big bad boss sounds that are February.
So now uh, you get a record out. Mm -hmm. You want to talk about the record? It's yeah. really pretty. It's on yeah. translucent yeah. black vinyl, <laughs> and that's not a sign of uh, of any kind of lower quality vinyl. It's a beautiful thing. You can hold it up it's to the unique. sun. It's unique. Yes. It's good. That's quality. That sounds like something I personally would look for in a store if I were the record buying public. It's true. Absolutely. And there's a it's lot of stores of you can treats. get it at. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of stores around town. What are the songs? Uh, Bliss and Into Red. They're both A sides because we like them both a lot. Cool, cool. Did uh, who'd you record with? Um, Richard. Richard, Richard Werbel Winkle. Winkle. We recorded it with him at Third Ear Studio. Third Ear. I think we we snuck in when Lowe wasn't recording there. And it was did an amazing it. couple of days, yeah. yeah. It's a great It's a beautiful studio. place. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's very yeah, cool. But Book we show. did it illegally, so don't tell anybody. Yeah. <laughs> it's just between us. <laughs> no one will know. <laughs> I wasn't uh, listening. But yeah, we recorded that and put it out on um, some label called Perspective Records. And Ultramodern. Ultramodern. Yeah, Ultramodern. 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 It's kind of like a combo thing. Cool. I think cool. this guy was starting up a new label too. It's a groovy little label out of Minneapolis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Cool. Yeah, they uh, they put out some other stuff that I can't remember, but I'm sure it's you know, cool. Ethereal. So then, uh, <laughs> yeah. so now uh, do you get like lumped in with the uh, with the other bands mm. in that kind of uh, kind yeah. of category. The we do. Yeah. We get lumped in, but you know, as much as we can, we try to to branch out and separate from that because you know, there's a lot of people we feel need to hear our music, and it's not necessarily a a, a click thing at all. We don't see it as like that. We. We played a great show with the Whiskey Sour Notes, <laughs> and it was awesome. That, yeah. Now, why did you why did you name the band February? It was uh, when the concept came around. It was in the month of February. And there was this dog, right? The neighbors had this dog. Oh yeah, the <laughs> neighbors' <laughs> dog. I thought it was a llama. It was the llama. That was the. the Wait, second I could have swore it was about yay high. It was a sheep dog. It, it was, was a miniature llama. They didn't want anyone to know about it, but anyway. so they called it a dog. And the, and the dog's was name named was February. February. So uh, at the beginning of the show, you might remember that uh, we saw an alien spacecraft hovering in front of the roadside inn. And now we're here talking with the uh, alien spacecraft pilot. I believe your name is Bob? Yeah, yeah, I'm Bob. And Bob, in, uh, what planet are you from? Well, actually, to translate the name of my planet into your earthling tongue, uh, there are two possible translations. Mm -hmm. One, of course, is... <laughs> The other uh, is Planet X. Planet X. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Bob from uh, Planet X. W what are some of the major differences, really, between uh, your planet and, say, uh, Earth, for example? Well, uh, our two planets actually are remarkably similar. Uh, there are really only two main differences between Earth and Planet X. Uh, one, of course, is the fact that we are technologically more advanced beyond any, you know, Earthlings' wildest dreams. The other, of course, is that on my planet, Eddie Vedder is hunted down like an animal. Those are toys, aren't they? Souvenirs, really. Walmart had a sale. Uh, we'll be back with more February.
So you're pulling out of town soon? Going on tours soon? Yeah, something Madison. like that. Yeah. We got a couple shows lined up. Uh, at the end of this month, we're going out to Madison, playing with the great band Ivory Library, and uh, also at the end of April, going out of town to Milwaukee, playing with a band called Ignore the Ground. Super cool, super cool, from Milwaukee. And you know, aside from the in in uh, in town gigs that we got planned, you know, that's that's what we have so far. So now, uh, so now you guys seem to get along really well. How did you guys meet? How was the, uh, what was the origin of February-ness? McDonald's. Yeah. Or, origin of February is about a year ago, but Todd and I had been together for about three years. As a couple? Doing rhythm. <laughs> yeah. But we're, we're not, we're seeing other people, so if you wouldn't mind, I'd like to spend some time with you after. <laughs> so you told anyway, me I was the only one. <laughs> well, there's a few now. All right. But yeah, Todd and I have been doing the rhythm for three years. We were in another band together. What was the other um, band? Oh. And Irrelevant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were just called Irrelevant. Um, because then this came along, and it was great. They had ads up um, around town looking for. Were you looking for a guitarist and a singer at first? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And we were thinking of keyboards, but we decided to ditch We that. auditioned mm -hmm. a few uh, keyboard players, and that just didn't fly. <laughs> like, like but there was, mode. yeah, there was an ad up, <laughs> so I called and. And we all met at a coffee shop and talked about things. And Steve intimidated me, and Todd <laughs> smiled a lot. <laughs> and I went, I went, so what are you doing? So, uh, <laughs> so what are you doing? Um, now <laughs> or after? <laughs> and she said, and I said, no, like for your for the future. Do you want to be in a band? <laughs> She's like, I don't know. It wasn't like that at all. Well, it was kind of like that. No. But then we made up, and now we're best friends. <laughs> <laughs> like, not quite like, yeah. Yeah. And then, then so anyway. Came over. And then we, and then the three of us played together, and it worked, so we. Put up more ads. Put up more ads for Damien. <laughs> we're looking for <laughs> Damien. Come and find us, Damien. <laughs> Hello. Hello, oh, Damien. Here I am. Yeah. Hi. He Little cartons out. and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. That's true. Have you seen this boy? And so I called and uh, talked to them all on the phone before I even met him. It was just really good to meet him because uh, they all had a lot of good things to say over the phone, and I thought that was worth everything. And then we <laughs> set up with makeshift gear and played some uh, different practices in the basement. Took it from there. Shooting for the moon. That sounded painful. <laughs> Didn't hurt a bit. I know, but it hurt me. Ow. Sorry, Chris. Ow. So now, you guys have played in bands before. Amy, have you played in a band before? Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I used to live with some, uh. Hippies. <laughs> with some hippies. Not that hippies are bad. No, no, not at all. We've got lots of hippie friends. But anyway, so they. <laughs> yeah. They're nice in moderation. These are my hippie yeah, we've got them. You These know, are we've, my other friends. We've got our token hippie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, ethereal kind of sucks. So does, you know, like dream pop. Is dream that an pop okay? Dream pop sucks <laughs> rocks. <laughs> <laughs> I hate the term dream pop. We all hate it. We hate it. You have a better word? We'll Good. rock your socks off. I don't, think, I don't think that we're anything. Well. Syrup. It's just a little. Syrup. It just gets in. Because we turn up and we rack the house, so to speak. I mean, it's not like. Rock the house! We're yeah! Just, we're just we just don't like calling it anything. It. You know yeah. what I mean? We like it just to, to be really low where it is and then to go really high. And, yeah. And to just make those kind of landscapes, you know? So now we're talking here uh, with Bob from Planet X. Now, Bob, why have you come here? Uh, what is what is the uh, mission, really, you have? Is there a message that you have for the youth of America? Uh, thank you, Chris. I do actually have a message, and it is this. I'm here as a representative of a delegation of several planets in the galaxy, and frankly, we are fed up with the way aliens are portrayed in Earth media. We've been monitoring your transmissions for years, and frankly, we're sick to death of it. Uh, aliens are always portrayed as either bloodthirsty, fluid oozing monsters, or uh, you know, insidious pod duplicates of yourselves, or even worse, buffoonish idiots like that Mork guy. I mean, I I've known a lot of organs in my time. None of them fly around in eggs. It's really more of a mushroom shape. Uh, frankly, what we are asking for are more positive role models for alien youth today. So I'm curious, did, did we ever get it right? As a matter of fact, your media has gotten it right once. Really? What was that with? That was with David Bowie. Oh, the whole uh, Man Who Fell to Earth movie. 
David Bowie made a movie? Uh, yeah. So we'll be right back with more from February.
Well, that about wraps up this particular episode of what I'd like to give a special thanks to our guests for the day. February, you guys were really terrific, and I know I, for one, am going to sleep a little bit safer tonight. I'd also like to thank our special guest, Bob, from Planet X. Hi, Chris. How you doing? Uh, I just wanted to stop by. I've, I'm about ready to go. I've got the spaceship all gassed up and some muffins from the SA. I'm very excited. But before I go, I was wondering if you wouldn't mind if I took your picture for my... I've got this little celebrity alien scrapbook thing. Would you mind? I, I'd be honored. Great. Okay. Say cheese. Cheese. Just, just a little alien humor. <laughs> Quite. We'll see you next time on... What? This program was brought to you with support from Rev 105 Radio, the radio revolution, 105.1 and 105.3 FM. By Total Music Systems, Total Music for sound results. The Electric Fetus Stores, for music, clothing, and gifts, find it all at the Fetus. Dark Recording Studios of Minneapolis. Chris Strauss Wardrobe, provided by Tatters Alternative Clothing, Minneapolis.